Hi everyone, today is Tuesday, the 24th of January 2017, and Ewan McGregor has just pulled out of this Good Morning Britain interview because Piers Morgan is the host on there. Because Ewan didn't agree with Piers' comments about the Women's March. Now, Ewan McGregor represents Jesus, just like the character that he plays, Obi-Wan Kenobi, also represents Jesus. <clears throat> because he's standing up for women's rights. Now, <clears throat> Piers Morgan and Donald Trump, they represent Satan, because they're going against the women. Because <clears throat> it represents, like, when the dragon of Revelation 12 goes after the woman. <clears throat> Of Revelation 12. <clears throat> because that dragon in Revelation 12 represents Satan. <clears throat> because it says that it's a red dragon, just like Satan is supposed to be a red beast. <clears throat> so, good on him for not appearing on the show. <clears throat> Look. Transformers, The Last Knight, represents just like this Star Wars film, The Last Jedi. See, The Last Knight, The Last Jedi. <clears throat> See even the red text for Satan as well. <clears throat> See? You know that you have Jedi Knights. There's Jedi, there's Knight. See? And this actually means the last Christians. Because they're going to persecute all of the Christians and they're going to kill loads of Christians. That's what the Illuminati and Freemasons are going to do. And obviously, like, Donald Trump's involved with all of that massively. Well, he's going to be. <clears throat> um... See, that sword there, that represents the sword that comes out of Jesus' mouth. Known as the Great Sword from World War III. See, Optimus has that sword here. <clears throat> Optimus represents Jesus, just like Luke Skywalker does. Then... Megatron and Unicron, they're like the destroyers, just like Kylo Ren and Snoke are the destroyers in Star Wars. Do we know whether Unicron is going to be in this movie? No, we don't. <clears throat> but we, we don't know whether Megatron's going to be in this movie either. Um, but Unicron represents nukes coming, just like the Death Star, just like Galactus in Marvel. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> Transformers The Last Night is the exact same story as Star Wars The Last Jedi, it's just t told in an entirely different way and in, 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 and in a different setting. <clears throat> I suppose this could represent just like Valkyrie's sword and Lady Sif's sword in Marvel. <clears throat> So, Ewan McGregor, his middle name is Gordon, just like you have Gordon Ramsay. And even that Gordon guy in four rooms. So, Ewan McGregor's into motorbikes, just like the Harry Bikers are. So the Harry Bikers are chefs, 
just like Gordon Ramsay's a chef. And his middle name is Gordon. Ewan McGregor's middle name is Gordon. <clears throat> so... The hairy bikers represent Jesus as well. See there? See he's wearing blue jeans for Jesus. He's got a beard and long hair. Just like Jesus. He's got a beard and long hair. Just like Jesus. <clears throat> Luke's got a beard and long hair. Just like Jesus. Shia LaBeouf's got a beard and long hair. Just like Jesus. Because, obviously, Shia LaBeouf, Luke Skywalker, and Mark Hamill all represent Jesus. It says, who is the last Jedi? Well, the likelihood is that it's Luke. <clears throat> now... This picture of Brie Larson, obviously it's sexy, but I just noticed something about it. Like, <clears throat> see she's got one eye covered over. So this could be an, Illum an Illuminati Freemason thing. <clears throat> see, her one eye here represents the Eye of Horus. On the Illuminati Pyramid. Well. <clears throat> I say that. But I really hope it's not the case. Because that would mean. That, that she was under the control of the Illuminati and the Freemasons. Which I, I really hope that's not the case. Like. <clears throat> Well, <clears throat> Shia LaBeouf has been doing these anti-Trump protests and this one pro-Nazi guy hijacked his protest can and he was saying stuff like Hitler did nothing wrong. And again, that goes back to Transformers The Last Night <clears throat> because um, there's supposed to be Nazi stuff in that film. <clears throat> and remember, Shia LaBeouf was in the was in some of the Transformers films, wasn't he? <clears throat> hey, you goddamn fucking internet! You guys, you guys awake in there? Up in the internet? Shout out to fucking hacker boys! <laughs> Fuck this fucking faggot! Fuck Shia LaBeouf! Hitler did nothing wrong. <laughs> How dare he insult Shia LaBeouf like that? Shia LaBeouf is like a legendary actor. Like, like see the Illuminati pyramids in the background right there. See, look, look at this guy. He's wearing a shirt of Donald Trump as Superman. Now, he has been massively deceived because Donald Trump is the exact opposite of Superman. Like, Superman represents Jesus, but Donald Trump represents Satan. Uh, 
Anyway, you get the point with that. So, this is the clip that I wanted to show you. <clears throat> um, where it's Jesse Ventura against Piers Morgan. I've been on about this in my previous two videos. <clears throat> because the people who did it were identified and we knew who they were. Well, then why couldn't we have stopped them beforehand if they were identified and we knew who it they were? It was a failure of intelligence. Everyone's accepted No, it that. wasn't. We knew before with Condoleezza Rice's memo on August 6th when it stated right in the memo, Bin Laden took steal planes and run them into buildings and more stuff is coming out now also how much the bush administration ignored the intelligence it was almost like they ignored it because they wanted it to happen oh come on jesse no not it'll oh, come off it's it's every, every wait a minute uh, every war no, 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 starts no. with a false flag operation you can't in all seriousness sit there and try and make uh, anybody uh, okay let me ask you this wait a happen. minute let me, wait, wait, let me ask you something. How many? How much studying have you actually done of 9-11 other than what, what the government's told you and what mainstream media has told actually. you? I was editor, I've been studying it I was four editor years. of a national newspaper. I've, I've talked we to people. Wait a minute. In depth every day for really? five, six months. Really? So I know a lot about it. Well, well, one thing I do know is let me ask you this. You then. cannot say that any member of the Bush administration knew it was going to happen or wanted it to happen. It's a ridiculous thing to say. Ridiculous. Okay, let's talk about your BBC. I have a tape of a BBC reporter broadcasting directly back to England talking about a third building has collapsed, World Trade Center Building 7, talks for 20, seven minutes. All the while she's talking, World Trade Center Building 7 is still standing right behind her. It didn't fall for another half hour, yet they were doing a pre-broadcast back to England that, the, yes, it's true, no, you need to that this building in. fell and it hadn't fallen yet. So trying to make out the British Broadcasting Company, one of those respected news organizations in the world, was inventing huge buildings falling over. You they need to did. Have a little, you need to have a break, Jesse. We'll come back after the break Are and we'll talk about Israel me? and Iran. Are you Iran. kidding me? This is a fact, my friend. <laughs> So, as you can see there, he was trying to discredit everything that Jesse was saying. So, how dare he go against Jesse like that, because Jesse is a legend. I mean, like... <clears throat> Basically, this guy goes on to say, Oh, research uh, the Holocaust, just like you research 9-11. Um, <clears throat> well... To be honest, I did, like, loads about the Holocaust in school. So I think I know, like, how it how it all pans out. Like, I'm, I'm not thick. Like, I mean, th this guy um, has, has even got a moustache. Just like Hitler had a moustache. But to be honest, he has to trim it shorter. <laughs> if he wants it to be more like Hitler's. I mean, you, you, you see, the, they're wearing red hats, just like Trump wears a red hat. And obviously the red's for Satan. <clears throat> so, thank you very much, everybody, and I'll see you all at the wedding feast of the Lamb, and keep faith in Jesus Christ and God. Do we need to rethink our heroes? Because Optimus has always been my hero, and he always will be.